Who is that guy? Yeah, him. Well, I can tell you this much. He's part of today's HitFilm quick tip. HitFilm forum user Calmaro asked if it's possible to zoom in on a person while following them via motion tracking. It's definitely possible and fairly easy. First off, track your footage. Now, I'm not going to spend time covering the ins and outs of tracking, as there are plenty of other tutorials for that. Once you have a good track, apply the track to a point layer, then return to the main viewer. Next, decide when you want to zoom in and out on the tracked person or whatever. Select your point layer, then expand its properties to find the position property, where you'll see all the keyframes that came from the track. Take all keyframes that are before your desired start time and delete them. Do the same thing for the keys that fall after your desired end time. Now with position still selected, decide how much time you want for the camera to zoom in and out. I'm going to go with 15 frames for this example. Starting at your first keyframe of track data, go back 15 frames, then set the position values to 0, 0. Change this new keyframe, plus the first keyframe of tracking data, to manual Bezier. While we're here, select the new keyframe we just added, and copy it. Now move to the end of the track data. Change the interpolation type of the last keyframe to manual Bezier, go forward 15 frames, and paste the keyframe we copied just a minute ago. Now if you select the point layer in the layer stack and play through, it will start in the center of the frame, smoothly move to follow the track character, and then return back to the center again. Next, convert the video layer to 3D plane and click yes to add a camera. Move back to the first frame of the shot and parent the camera to the point layer. The final step is to keyframe the camera's zoom to match the timing of the keyframes we added to the point layer. Move to the frame that has the point layer's first keyframe and turn on keyframing for the camera's zoom property. While you're here, select this first keyframe and copy it. As you move the time marker to the frame where the point begins following the tracked person, the camera goes along for the ride because it's parented to the point. On the first frame of track data, adjust the camera's zoom to push in closer on the person you're tracking. Move ahead in the timeline to the last frame of track data and add another keyframe to the zoom property. Move ahead to where the point resets back to the center, then paste the copied keyframe, which will return the camera to its original zoom. Change all the zoom keyframes to manual Bezier, and that's it. We now have a shot that begins full frame, pushes in to follow a tracked character, then it returns to full frame again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.